So it's uh, June 4th, 2023. I was just checking the date on the paper I have over there. Darcy's Corner. Um, it's Pride Month, everybody. Happy Pride Month. I've already said that in my previous post. I'll say it again on this one. And uh, today was Fast and Testimony Day at uh, my my church. So on Fast and Testimony Days, anybody can get up and just speak from their heart about the gospel and their experiences in it and what it means to them. <clears throat> and uh, I'm a Latter-day Saint. Um, who knows, I might still get excommunicated. That's my dog chewing on a toy. I might still get excommunicated, but I haven't been yet. And so today I got up and I shared my testimony. And what I said was that I've had lots of experiences in the church over the last 23 years that have helped me to grow as a person and to understand spiritually some of what I think the Lord wants for me. Only some of it, um, because uh, clearly um, some things aren't going according, they're definitely not going according to my plan anyway. I get they're going according to his, but they're not going according to mine. And I got up there in front of everybody because I can. They will protect the podium if I was marching in there with pride flags and protest signs, I would not be allowed to get up and talk to the congregation. <clears throat> I mean, I could, I could go in there as a protest, but I don't want to protest them. My existence there is the protest. That squeaking really is annoying. I apologize about that. Sometimes my dog just gets in a squeaky mood and finds a squeaky toy. Anyway... My existence is the protest, and the fact that I have a testimony that that still small voice is what they talk about, that inner feeling that you need to do something or say something, <clears throat> you might call it intuition or inspiration, the church calls it the spirit, and that's, I still have that, and I got up. And I shared that with everybody. And this is Pride Month. Um, traditionally speaking, queer people are supposed to exist within the church. Uh, that's breaking all the rules. <clears throat> and over the years, they've gotten better at being accepting of people who are different. And I couldn't stop myself from being queer. And I couldn't stop myself from being a Latter-day Saint. It's like these two opposing forces that were so incredibly powerful. And I'm just stuck in the middle, just, you know, trying to, trying to be queer and be authentically myself. And yet I can't deny my feelings that I have for the gospel and how it's affected my life in so many different ways. And frankly, I want them to see me. I want their kids to see me and I want the missionaries to see me. And I want them to go back home, the missionaries, I mean, and any other members of the the church who are not from our area to go back home and to realize that I was always here that I was always this way and God always knew and this is not a surprise to God this is a surprise to them and it's a situation to me for sure but it's not a surprise to God God always knew who and what I was and God loved me anyway and not even anyway, like God loved me because God loves all of us. And that's like the message. 
it's in the book. <laughs> if you ever read it, um, that's what it says. <clears throat> and um, it's important that people like me are seen at church, in public, amongst the children, amongst our people, whoever your people are. We, I'm here for a reason. I don't understand the reason, but I think a big part of the reason that I'm here is so that members of my community will see me and know that when they're talking about that LGBTQ plus thing, they're talking about the scary trans people, they're talking about me, somebody who's been a part of their lives. I've been building the church in this area now for 20 years. I've gone to firesides and set up chairs and mowed lawns, and I have ministered to many of these people. And many of them have ministered to me. And they need to know that I'm one of them and I always was. Hopefully, it's making inroads so that other queer people can feel accepted and know that we all belong here. Acceptance is such a big challenge for us. And fitting in and not being seen as dangerous. Um, it's very important to me that my congregation knows that I'm still the same person. That that hasn't really changed. My gender has changed. My gender expression has changed. If I could change my voice and my face, oh, it'd be done. And I wouldn't have to be the center of attention that I don't want so much of the time. But while I'm waiting for that to happen, <laughs> I'm just going to keep living my life. Anyway, this is Darcy's Corner. It's Pride Month, I'm a Latter-day Saint, and I want people in the queer community to know I'm a Latter-day Saint. I want the people in the Latter-day Saint community to know that I am a trans woman who has been among you for years, and there's nothing to be afraid of. Darcy's Corner. Peace.